Raindrops in her eyes signal a coming storm, and with it, the chorus of nature begins. Watch closely, for where rain falls, frogs emerge, heralding the rhythm of life. There is an old myth that says frogs fall from the sky during a good rainstorm. The real truth is, however, that certain frog species hide themselves in burrows and stay underground for long periods of time to escape unfavorable conditions. They only leave their burrows during or after a good rainstorm at the start of the mating season. Our story is about a frog, but not just any ordinary frog. Our frog is in a sense very special and different from all other frogs. a remote corner on the African continent. Our journey takes us to a place which they call the Timeless Land. It is known as the Land of Contrasts, or if you want, the Land of Life and Death. This land is a mixture of barren, desolate landscapes marked with stark signs of drought's victory over its inhabitants and perennial rivers on the other hand that often break through their boundaries destroying everything in their way a land with many hidden treasures a land they call Africa's harsh paradise It is here, in the southwestern corner of the African continent, that you will find them. The mysterious, monster-like creatures that spend almost their entire natural life astivating under the surface, instead of above the ground. Not many people have had the privilege of actually seeing one of these big little fellows. To be honest, most of us will go through life's journey without even knowing they exist. These creatures are known as Pixicephalus adspersus, or the giant bullfrog, the second largest frog on the African continent. But we call them monsters of the swamps. The motto of Africa, we've learnt very quickly, is to live and let live. Africa is an animal's paradise, a mixture of wildlife, a land of severe contrasts ruled by drought on the one side and abundance of water on the other. The ongoing struggle between these two elements itself is the greatest predator of all, a system where only the toughest survive. This year is no different from the previous ones. As the days come and go under the African sun, so do the waters of her pans, swamps and rivers. Animals hover round the last bit of water, the provider of life to millions. Those who didn't make it lay resting in the covering sand. 
The animals of Africa know the signs of a slumbering drought. It has an unmistakably strange effect on their behavior. In a sense, they become edgy and even nervous. Nature does not have any favorites. And although the African elephant is the largest living land animal with a weight of up to 5,400 kilograms, that is more than five tons, it is not spared from the onslaught of the elements. Being vegetarians or herbivores, they require vast amounts of food, sometimes consuming more than 225 kilograms. That is about 500 pounds of plant matter per day. This elephant bull is hungry and despondent. He's irritated and behaves in such a way. The water level of this waterhole drops alarmingly fast and he decided to protect what he believes is his. And so the days pass on. Day after day follow each other in monotonous succession. The sun burns relentlessly from a cloudless sky. Mirages are starting to form, dancing in the distance to the tune of unbearable heat. And as if that isn't enough, dust devils are beginning to cast their own evil spell. The dust devils sweep their way through the land and wipe out all traces of life, taking the last bit of breath out of those who barely live, leaving behind a grim desolate world without any trace of hope or life. Days and months will pass before the first signs of rain. The swamps once frequented by an abundance of wild animals, has become dry clay pans. Animals migrate in the hope of finding fresh water and food. Tracks left behind in this inland sea of clay are the only evidence of the ongoing battle between the elements of nature, the battle between life and death. However, while this drama is unfolding above the ground, our frogs are unnoticeably and safely tucked away below the surface, waiting for the right conditions to present themselves. By now, the moon has paid many courtesy calls on Mother Earth. Those on the ground follow her visits with great interest knowing that she plays a vital role in the supply of life-giving rain. They're constantly on the lookout for any signs of the promised relief. And then, as storm clouds join forces and gather, hasty preparations are made in anticipation. The news spreads from one creature to another, all waiting for the much-needed relief. Then the rain pours down. There's no mercy for this parched land and its thirsty creatures. They are bombarded with a funfair of thunder and lightning. Not that those who live there mind at all. Hit that subscribe button now. Share our content with friends and family. And embark on this incredible adventure with us, where we uncover the secrets of our planet and make a positive impact on its future. Together, we can make a difference. Subscribe now. Share the launch. The sluices of heaven are opened in full force as precious torrents of life-giving rain vanquish the drought. Dry riverbeds and dusty footpaths become channels of water. The dry land responds rapidly 
and is transformed into a kaleidoscope of brilliant colors. This joyous response has become one of the most sought-after phenomena on the planet. The rain-soaked surfaces release an odor of freshness. The sky is washed clean and everywhere puddles of water start to form. Nature comes alive and the observant visitor realizes that the spell of drought is finally broken, if only for this season. By now one will find that literally every hollow swamp and pan is filled with water. In episode 2, join us as we explore sub-Saharan Africa in search of the region's biggest amphibian. Witness intense battles among male bullfrogs defending their territory and seeking mates. Plus, be amazed by the unexpected discovery of the world's largest mushroom. Subscribe and share with friends and family.